Welcome to CGTN. We are live at the Canton Fair in Guangdong Province, and I'm Lu Sire. So uh, I'm here at the D exhibition hall of the Canton Fair. As you know, that this is the first time in three years that Canton Fair is a welcoming attendee again in China. So. Um, the businessmen, no matter uh, if they are hit, uh, they get hit hard in the pandemics or have been saving energy in the past three years, have brought their latest technology and their products with the greatest po uh, market potential here. So these fair this year is all about business and about uh, opportunities, investment, and finding uh, partnerships. So I cannot wait to show you some of the uh, really good collection this time. And let's start with this uh, Yihang company, as you can see behind me. Yes, hello. Uh, this is Zoe, actually. Uh, she jumped in earlier than she in fact should have, but uh, uh, she's going to give us some introduction of the product. As you can see behind us, the, uh, the drone-like things, but uh, Zoe said uh, they're not supposed to be caught drones, yeah, right? Yeah, it should be caught an autonomous aerial vehicle because we are using it to drive passengers to work from one place to another. Yeah. yeah, so let's take a look at them, like okay. uh, this way. All right, which one do you want to, uh, which one is your uh, star product here? Yeah, this is our flagship product. Flagship product. You can product. see mm -hmm. this name is Yihan 216. So I want to introduce the two first because we have two seats. That's why okay. we call it two. And then you have 16 propellers. As you can see, eight arms, 16 propellers. So mm -hmm. it's really different from the helicopter. Mm. or like drones because it's uh, fully autonomous driving you don't need a human pilot in mm. the air so every passenger just sit in this cabin and just have a cup of coffee or just enjoy the view oh so do i need to have any license for this to join this to um, actually be in charge of these drones <laughs> if you are a passenger you no need no for need. anything so yeah. if i want to um I don't know if you actually uh, have this plane in any in China's market. Oh yeah, we are like doing like sightseeing at, at this stage. Okay. Yeah, and we have a lot of partnership with uh, all around the world, like Sp Spain, Spain and Japan, Korea. We have conducted like over uh, 34,000 of uh, safe flights all around the world. Yeah, so in China usually do, uh, where can we see this product? Uh, like Hezhou. Hezhou, no, yeah. in what kind of situation? Like in a park or in a... a yeah. like, like like a uh, uh, like a view space mountain yeah oh, sightseeing place for sightseeing, yeah. For sightseeing, yeah so let's say if I am a visitor I want to join this drone uh, do I need a license for this or no, no, no need yeah just need okay to okay can you uh, can I have yeah, a try sit in do you want to sit in with me together yeah, okay okay. okay let me try this on ah. So this is basically the compass uh, for like a control panel for these for this for this drone. Yeah, actually, you no need to control it. You can you, you just like you can see the data here. You can see uh, what height you are in and the, the, the range and what's, what what specific space you so are. So basically, I, I cannot control anything. Yeah, you don't need to control anything. So it's preset. Yeah. If I like preset the distance or time and height. Ah, uh, I see. Uh. You see, if you're a passenger, mm. you wanna. If we call it a call it a, like uh, air taxi, mm -hmm. if you wanna call this the air taxi, you just open the app in the in your cell phone, and you oh. can choose your uh, destination. You can choose your takeoff spot. Do you have the app in your phone now? Uh, right now, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay, it's <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. So we see that here, uh, although it's in Chinese. It's, it's like compass, radar. It's the it's called sensor of these drone, and then uh, like parameters for uh, pressure and GPS, and something that I don't really understand. But uh, Zoe just told me that all these things could be preset. 
So if you have a destination to go, you can pretty much set up all these things, set up all the things, and then yeah. I don't need a license, and yeah. then join here, and then this this machine is going to take me to my destination. Yeah, is it? Exactly. Okay. Actually, you don't need to choose your height or oh. your range. Mm -hmm. You just need to choose your destination and then it will like pre-order your flight route and mm. then fly to your destination autonomously. Okay, so how long can this uh, drone last, its battery last? I, I don't know if it's, it uses batteries or petrol. Yeah, it's pure battery. Oh. So it's around like 25 minutes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's designed for the urban area. You see, oh. if you are in Guangzhou, if you want to uh, go from Canton Tower mm -hmm. to the like uh, uh, city hall, mm -hmm. it, it, on the ground maybe it's like uh, over 10 kilometers or over 12, uh, uh, 15 kilometers. Mm -hmm. But if you go, go there in the air, mm -hmm. it's like uh, spot to spot is straight. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe uh, 10 minutes or five minutes fly. Oh, 10 minutes to 5 yeah. minutes. Okay, so, so let's get off the plane first. Yeah. Get off the plane first. <laughs> so I have more questions for her, actually. So besides, uh, besides China's market, where do you, uh, wh where is your target, uh, uh, target market? Oh, okay. Actually, all around is our target market. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, we have already have orders from Japan, Korea, mm -hmm. Indonesia. Indonesia, yeah. okay. So, <coughs> so, so far, how's the you know, market response from your global market? Do they like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Actually, all of our customers is like a big fan of the we call it urban air mobility. It's a mm. it's a brand new industry. Mm. So every every customer is working with us together to make the urban air mobility to move faster and faster to, to I, become job lives. Yeah, I, I just realized maybe the seat is a little bit too tiny for just the visitor just now. He had a little bit of problem to get out of from this uh -huh. this drone. Actually, I think the space mm. is really, really okay for it's okay. Yeah, oh. for Asia people. Okay, okay. Uh, can we take a look at this one, yeah, the red is, one, just yeah. briefly? Like, what, what's its function? Yeah, I, I saw like one one nine. Yeah, I yeah. thought it's like a firefighter or something because it's red. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's a firefighting one. So you know, in the urban area, we have mm. a lot of high-rising buildings. Mm. So if like uh, 80 or uh, 90 uh, flee, they, they, got, they got on fire. Uh. So we need uh, like this aircraft uh. to fly in the air to, to uh, directly to the, to, the, to the fire spot. Okay. Because nowadays the, the, the firefighting team cannot get the, the that height. height. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, I think it's like, whether it can like actually connect to the water hose, like it's gonna be like really heavy for the water to be attracted to it. You know, uh, it's not exactly the water. It's uh. like something like uh, chemi chemically can uh, more efficient to the fire. It's okay. like you know, you see on the on the uh, on the on bottom the, on the top uh, on the top is the uh. the bomb, the the, the firefighting bomb. Okay. Yeah, they can. So the water came out from there, uh, from, from, from the bottom, from, from the here. from here. Yeah. Oh. So, here. Hey yo, this one, uh, Wang Peng. Maybe we can show a little bit here. Ha. <laughs> this one. This is actually where the water came out. I just realized this. I was worrying about whether it will be too heavy to uh, carry uh, water in the air, but she told me that this is act this design is actually designed for that function. But I'm actually not sure if the ones on the top, as you can see, the uh, the tubes at the top. I don't know if uh, that also uh, helps to uh, provide water as well. Okay, thank you very much for your introduction and I hope that you'll have more customers around the world. All right, bye-bye. All right, now uh, we have finished these drones 
and uh, we have finished something up in the air and now I'm going to show you something on the land, on the ground. And it's a very cool, ener uh, clean energy driven tractor. So let's go. Yes, as you can see on our right hand, there are still there are a lot of clean energy cars and even buses, something that I don't really know how to call it. Oh, that's like, uh, okay, on our left hand, this side. I'm going to show you this tractor. Mm, I'm trying to find the person. I, all right, he, uh, the guy is really bus uh, busy with his business and it looks like they have a lot of customers today. It's so amazing that to see so many foreign uh, faces, foreigners coming, gathering in Guangdong to find opportunities, find investment and find their partnerships and to actually see that these business get done. It seems like to had a very good conversation with uh, with your customer. Is it Turkish people and they do not speak English, so oh, okay. <laughs> some difficult. So oh, yeah. I use uh, the Google. Oh, the, the Google Translator. Yeah. So well, what is uh, what was he uh, interested hey, about? Interest on the fruit model, the tractors for that, the that tractor. Yeah, for all child model. Yeah. So what was the uh, the highlight of that product, and what was why yeah. was he this interested one is about special that? for the all child? And for one yard, like orange uh, yard, it's oh, not for yard. yeah, oh, not for open field. Different oh, like this one. For this one, but this yeah. one is also your flagship yes. uh, product, right? Yes. New energy. Okay, so usually, where do you, uh, what's the advantage of your product? In this fact? one is the biggest difference is this one is no engine, no diesel tank, oh, so okay. it's with uh, battery and with uh, motors to run for and work. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's. Uh, it's basically for farmland, right? Yeah, 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 it's same as the traditional one, as the diesel one, it's same. Does it feel the same, like uh, for the drivers? Yeah, the field, working conditions is same, just a different uh, uh, power. Different power, yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, okay, our, uh, we're just seeing a visitor, a consumer is trying to, you know, get a feel of this tractor. Maybe we can have an interview about the customer. Yeah. Let me ask him, like, I want to do an interview with this, uh, this customer here. Uh, let me see if I can get the interview. Hello,我们能随机问您几个问题吗? 我是外贸行业的 so this gentleman just told me that uh, he's been doing foreign trade in Africa and this type of tractor has been really popular in Africa because made in China has very good quality. Yes? Okay. <laughs> I just assumed that you understood me. <laughs> okay, I want to try. Yeah. All right, let me take a look inside. Oh my God. I've. In fact, never <laughs> try to sit at like this height. All right. The pedal, I can't, to go, uh, is it locked? The pedal here, down here? Yes. Okay. This one is no clutch. Oh, it's Compared no clutch. The traditional tractor, no clutch. So All right. Your left foot are free. Oh, my left foot is yeah. free. So what what can I do with my left hand, uh, uh, left foot? With the traditional one, you need to, to operate the left clutch, clutch. many times. All right. Yeah. So now he can have, yeah, yeah. she can actually have a rest. And you can open this tractor, open the instrument by the key. 
Oh, open this one? On the right side. On, the right side. on my right side. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, it's on! Yes. Okay. I have my driver's license, but I'm not sure if I can actually drive this one. Also, it's a full LCD screen. Oh, full LCD. Much better than the mechanical type. Okay, it's <laughs> somehow it, it, it makes me feel so cool. And what's on uh, this side? Your right side is a control plate. Uh, control plate. It's totally different from the traditional one. It's, there is no control lever. Control. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just say, okay. There is no control lever, okay. and uh, it's a full electric, no mechanical control, so it's much easier. In a power position, so casual power. Okay. And you go, go ahead. So what's yeah. this? So this one, I think it's, I, I can't say it, it's a hand throttle. Okay. Yeah. And so I use this to uh, direct Yeah, direct. you can use a foot throttle and hand throttle together, both. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. to get the direction. Yeah, this one, can, this one can also make your right hand, right foot free. So oh, only okay. with the hand, you can control it. I can just use my right hand. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. So what are these? And there are many buttons used for the work implements, so oh. it's a little Complex to, to <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. but I'm good enough, happy yeah. enough. Okay, let me uh, get down first. Wow, well, it's so cool to know that some of these, uh, in fact, the paddles can be replaced by some uh, controls on my hand. Thank you very much for Thank the interview. You. I actually left something inside uh, all my phones. I can help. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. And also those, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. Thank you very much. All right. OK, our next step is after we finish this tractor, I'm going to bring you to this really advanced bus. It's actually um, driven by hydrogen and uh, it's it's so new a technology that it still has a lot of problems to be fixed and a lot of rules and regulations to be think about but still I want to give you a look Get, hello uh, Wang Dong right hello nice to see you again the third time today yes, me too. <laughs> okay so can you give us an, a brief introduction of this bus first Okay, this is a fuel kill bus and uh, to drive to drive by the hydrogen, mm. and this is uh, the length is about uh, nearly 13 meters. Yeah, 13. Yes, and uh, the passenger. Yes, yeah, uh, just, just have a look. Uh, you want to go first? Can you say something to my son? Oh, okay. really? I follow this really? Yeah, I follow. Okay, okay I'll. Chinese information okay. and also between Chinese and uh, and and Africa cooperation. Okay. I follow your uh, your TV. Oh, that's and, very good. Yeah, and it's a very interesting channel for uh, Chinese new, mm -hmm. Chinese uh, economic development. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of things through your uh, channel. Okay. And today we are here in the Canton uh, Fair mm -hmm. to check about the link, the partnership between Chinese and Africa. Yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, well, why, mm -hmm. uh, This type of bus is a very, uh, very good bus, you know, and it's a new one also. And I, when I talk with my friend, he tell me a very good price, really, because in Africa we have so many old cars. So now, if you take this kind of bus, it's a very modern bus for the transportation. And now we need to change our city, uh, try the uh, new car, and try the good one like this bus. Like this one. Yeah. What do you specifically like this about bus this bus? Can take uh, uh, about 50 percent. Yeah, 50 percent. So I think it's a it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Also, in terms of fuel, also is an economical one. Mm -hmm. So not take too many many too many many fuel. I think it's a good one. Yeah. So uh, are you working in the like a uh, transportation industry or which? I'm industry? a trader. I'm working in the trading. So today I come here for making a new partnership with the Chinese uh, uh, company and Chinese distributor in order after to tell to my African partner from Senegal, from Gambia, from Mali, if they want to buy anything, we could help them to do this. Yeah. So do you stay in Guangdong or you fly here for Canton Fair specifically? I'm in Guangzhou. I'm in Guangzhou. Yeah, Guangzhou. I'm in Guangzhou, yeah. So do you come to Canton Fair every year? Every year. It's not my first time. Oh, not your first time. Yeah, How yeah. 
How do you feel about this time's Canton Fair? This time Canton Fair have many, many, many good stuff we can see here. Mm -hmm. Really, very, very interesting also. Because every time you come in the Canton Fair, you are seeing something new. And this is very interesting thing. Thank you. Thank Th you very much. Thank you very much, too. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. But, okay, let's continue to look, take a look at uh, this the interior decoration of this bus. So basically this doesn't look, uh, it looks very similar to regular buses, right? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, how do I feel when I take, uh, when it's like uh, already on the, on, on the right? <laughs> Is it the same as the traditional bus or I would feel like it, it moves much smoother? I think in, or if you just see the inside, uh, the interior, I think it's the same ah. with the traditional bus. Okay. But this uh, about the drive and the, the fuel is uh, different. Fuel uh, is uh, different. Traditional is used diesel, but this is hydrogen. It's uh, more environmental production uh, and more, I think, cut bottle. Okay, so for... Yeah, because <laughs> if, uh, the diesel, the engine will very loudly and uh, make uh, noisy. And yeah, uh, very noisy, but the fuel kill bus very... Quite very and quiet. Yeah, very oh, quiet and comfortable. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now let's. I'm going to take you to see the core technology, some some uh, core part of the technology at the uh, exterior part of this bus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're going to see how this car is being driven by hydrogen yeah, power. power. power yeah. battery, yeah. Battery. And uh, the operating principle is the, we add the hydrogen and the hydrogen to flashing mm. and uh, give the power, provide the power to power battery and the power mm. battery to drive the e motor to make the whole vehicle uh, operating, okay. working. Yes. So I have a question like, so basically this bus is driven by hydrogen, right? Yes. Where can I just refill the hydrogen? I've never I seen this in, in some uh, in some uh, hydrogen station. <coughs> some some push, uh, petrol station has uh, hydrogen, or maybe they have uh, the area can provide uh, some public uh, uh, place has a uh, hydrogen. So in in China, which city has already started to uh, have this hydrogen bus or have the place to refill hydrogen for uh, buses? About this question, I'm not so sure. But uh, last year, we have already cooperated with Jining Transportation Company. Uh, uh, where is that company? Like, in which province? Uh, in Shandong province, Jining. In Shandong province, yeah. oh. They ordered some hydrogen city bus from uh -huh. our uh, company. Mm -hmm. So I think already maybe so operating. Yeah, they're the trying. Thing. Yes, give pilot experience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right now, uh, where is your target market? In fact, target market I think is European, European or Australian, European because Australian. Uh, even though the hydrogen bus has uh, advantage, for example, environmental production and the charging time is shorter compared with the electric bus, and uh, but the cost I think is still a lot high, a uh, little oh, high. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think. And about the fundamental construction and the cost, I think maybe European and Australian can afford this. Mm. For example, uh, the uh, South Africa, uh, uh, South, South America, and the African countries, I think, still, uh, uh, still know have the chance. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. They still need to have a lot of technology. Yeah, technology and cost. Yeah, yeah, have them higher and. Uh, I would say uh, more fundamental construction. Oh, infrastructure. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> for your introduction. All right. All right, now we have finished this hydrogen bus, and now we're, I'm going to show you, uh, I would call it like a aisle for the future, an aisle for the future new energy cars. Um, it's uh, way down there. So let's go have a look because. I call it, I give it the name because uh, it basically showcases all these equipments, um, batteries, and controllers uh, 
needed for new energy cars to be uh, applied in cities, in suburban. Okay, as we uh, walk towards our destination, we can see a lot of new energy cars on our left hand. We can, we can feel that people are still very interested in these new energy cars. In fact, I just heard uh, some like uh, attendees of this fair uh, saying that China, in fact, having the same starting point of um, electricity or battery-driven uh, techno technology as Western world. So they are okay. I think we have arrived this aisle, right? <laughs> So as you can see on my left hand, I believe these are the equipments to charge the uh, electric new uh, new energy cars. Okay. And also we have some small components here, clip clamp. I uh, can't possibly figure out uh, how they can be used but I guess it's for uh, e-bikes and stuff. And here we have solar panels. I think it's also uh, for these new energy cars to charge and also to refill. I, I believe this is lithium. Is this lithium battery? Probably. Okay, let's, let's see. Oh, this one is definitely a lithium battery. It's the, probably the one of the most cleanest energy type uh, or type of battery these days. So let's give a close look at them. All right, let's go ahead. I cannot wait. So still. And also here, uh, this is exactly the, like some handles for the uh, chargers, for the electric cars. This is how specific and specialized uh, these products have become these days. I caught it a charger before and they told me it's just part of the charger. Would you like to give us an introduction of your product? Uh, it's okay. It's fine. We can we can just shoot some footage. Yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. It's battery charger. Let's go this way. And just to think about if you have different battery you uh, than the original battery in your cars and you still want to refill your car, uh, what's going to happen? And this company is going to give us a really good choice in the future. Uh, so let me talk to, uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Mali Ma Patek. Mali, no, no, I Mali forgot Ma. your name. My name is Ma. Ma, okay, yes. Mr. Ma, okay. Yes. So he's the founder of these uh, Mali, 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 Mali Da Tech, and then yes. they are actually inventing such kind of controller to help uh, new energy cars to adapt to all sorts of batteries, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, I am Manita Tech. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the EV range extension system provider. In fact, we are the, we are the only one hybrid battery system for electric vehicle mm -hmm. on the market. Yeah. So, so in, tell us why is your import, why is your product important? Which yes. one is your core product? Can yes. you show so, us? So in a short, uh, yeah. we can transfer the energy of the swappable uh, range extension battery to the main battery of the electric vehicle we can, by, uh -huh. by IDEP. Uh, we, our product is IDEP. IDEP means intelligent dual electric power. Mm. Yes, yeah, okay. it's a controller to control the energy transfer from the range extension battery to the main battery. So you can think it as a power bank of the electric vehicle. Mm. So and uh, I believe we, we can solve the yeah, bridge. So why, why is your product important? Is yes. that controller your uh, kind of your star product here or the core of your technology? 
uh, our core technology is to transfer the energy from uh, one battery to another battery. Mm -hmm. And the, the battery voltage may be different. Yeah. And so uh, why is it mm -hmm. important for users? Why for users, is, yes. Yeah, yes. Why, why is uh, this, uh, how to say, this technology to transfer from different bouts important for users? Okay, because the range anxiety is, is a a big problem of mm -hmm. the EV's user. Mm -hmm. So we, so we, we can, we can. Uh, I want yeah. him to give more like footage of this batteries, and so you better. Oh, oh, yes, here. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. so um, because we want to solve the range anxiety of the EV's user. Mm. So uh, you know that the range extension is very important. Mm. So our core technology is to tr to transfer the energy from the uh, swappable uh, uh, range extension battery to the... Okay, so mm. how will your product uh, make users' life easier? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. If, if you uh, run out of your battery, okay. yes, you can uh, charge your EV anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. So by okay. this uh, range extension system. Okay, show yes. me the core product. Yes. This one? This is our core products. Uh, it is IDEP, uh, I, and uh, means intelligent dual electric power controller. Mm. Mm. So it can transfer the uh, uh, energy, mm. uh, like from the 60 volts to uh, 125 volts mm. of the uh, electric vehicle. Okay. Yes. So this is actually put into. Uh, where is this? I don't see this in the car or something. It's under the chassis. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. So basically, I need this in my uh, new energy cars, so then I'm be able to maybe be charged with different kind of batteries. Is it how, how it works? Uh, yes, it uh, <laughs> because it transfer the energy uh, between the batteries. So uh, one uh, portable battery, a uh, swappable battery, uh. can charge for any electric vehicle. Uh, yes, okay, yes. Okay. For example, for the Tesla. Mm -hmm for the BYD, yes. So right now, uh, mm. where is your target market? Uh, right now, our target market is in mainly in Europe. In Europe? Yes, okay. Why yes. Is that? Uh, because they, they need these products. Okay. They have many cars uh, and the, sometimes they are... Uh, they like new energy. They like new energy cars. Sure, sure. And uh, sometimes they have to solve their uh, range problem. Yes. Have you already sold to like foreign markets before? Yes. Uh, for example, uh, to Spain, to Korea. Yes. Yeah. So, what's your expectation for this content fair this year? <laughs> of course, I want to introduce our product to the whole world, mm -hmm. and I believe Marita Tech will solve the range anxiety of the EVs user yes. in the future. Yes. Yeah. So, so far, how do you feel about content fair? Mm, I think it's good, yes. Many uh, buyers come to visit us, mm. yes. So how many people have come and consult about this battery thing? Uh, I so think it, uh, maybe 2030s today. 20, 30s yes. today, that's yes. a lot. Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right, thank you very much thank for you. giving the introduction. Yes, okay, so you. yes, as we have finished this interview, we are all also uh, ending today's live streaming and uh, tomorrow my friend uh, my colleague in fact Omar Khan will also give a live streaming uh, for the D section so uh, stay tuned bye for now <laughs>